Right, grade 12s, we are now looking at question 2 of paper 1. This is from the November 2018 past um, NSC exam paper. So given to us over here is an um, incomplete top view of a triangular pyramid. In the front view we can see that same triangular pyramid also with a hexagon prism over here and uh, yes you are obviously you can read through that information auxiliary view has been given over here of the prism then a cutting plane has also been given so the instructions then are as follows draw to a scale of one is to one the following views of the two solids the first one being the given front view a sectional top view and a sectional left view, then also the true shape of the cutting surfaces. Planning is essential and showing all construction and hidden detail. Right, so there's a few interesting things with this um, question over here is that it's easy to get a couple of marks for this question. Uh, the reason being is because the front view over here has been given and the front view is five and a half points that we can get by just drawing what is seen on the paper then also there's one point for constructions and then for the sectional top view by drawing this triangular prism or excuse me pyramid over here you'll also get some marks right so let's get started over here so we're going to plan our drawing first so this is in first angle, so we've got a front view, top view, and that means that our left view will be on the right hand side. So I'm going to draw a XY line, more or less in the center of our page. And then I'm going to start with my triangle, um, my triangular uh, pyramid over here. I'm going to measure the 20 millimeters down. And then I'm just going to draw a construction line over there. And one side of the triangle is 40 millimeters. So I'm going to mark out 40 on my page over here. So starting from the 50, there's 40 there. And if I now use 60 degrees, that will give me the triangle. Now if that corner over there is 60 and that corner there is 60, then half of it will be 30. So I'm going to get the center of the pyramid as well. So that was a quite an easy start. Now starting on the XY line, I'm going to bring up my three corners of my pyramid. Also the top point. And then I'm going to measure that 45 millimeters as well. So there's 45. And then I can actually draw it in. Okay, so this is part of the given front view. Already I've got a few marks drawn over there. So now I can see that from the question over here, this um, hexagon um, prism has been tilted with 30 degrees. And uh, knowing that, I can use a 60 degree line here, touching the top point, and you can actually test it over here. So touching the top point of the pyramid, it's a 60 degree line. So this is what I'm going to do, the following. So I'm going to draw a construction line there and a construction line over here and by doing that I can use 
this construction line here to get one edge or one corner of my hexagon um, auxiliary view. Right, by getting that, I can draw in here a vertical line. And then from that vertical line, I measure then 28 on my compass. So there's 28 millimeters there. And I can just mark it off. Make sure that it's accurate there. And then I'm just going to find a center point here. By doing that. And then this is my construction for my hexagon. So there are obviously different ways of doing that. I can now just use the compass and mark six points off on the circle. And that should be perfect like that. Right, so there's my um, auxiliary view. I've drawn it quite light and now I need to mark out the height of the prism. So that is 62 millimeters, 62 millimeters there. I'm going to measure it quickly there. 1, 2, 62. And I'm going to mark the height off there. So now that I've got that height, I can actually draw in this side 30 degree angle there bring across these lines of the hexagon Add in the center line. And then the last thing over here is to also add in the cutting plane AA. So I'm going to draw it's at 60 degrees and it touches the top corner over there. So I'm just going to darken it there. And then call it or label it AA. Right, and as easy as that, that's my five and a half marks given um, for the fr given front view. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my auxiliary view in order to also draw in my top view. So I'm going to label it corner one, two, three, four, five, six over here and bring those corners down. So this will be one and one. This will be two and six and two and six over here. Three and five. And then four and four over there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work with my top view first. I'm going to draw this, um, the prism, as if this um, pyramid doesn't exist. So I'm going to start with the top part of the prism and bring it down.
So also knowing now that the center point of the pyramid lies within the center point over there with my um, uh, a prism as well that means that corner one will be in line with the center of that point over there so i'm going to use this as a line of measurement so bringing one down that is where corner one will be that's one and then four will be in line with one The next two points are then two and three. So that will be above one and four. So I'm going to use this line over here. So center line through there to measure then two, and three. So by taking it from the center point there, I'm measuring corner two and I'm going to place it now. I'm bringing that two down to the center point here and I'm measuring two above and I can also measure three above the line. So I have now have two and three as well. Then I also have five and six. And if I look at this, this is in the middle. So five and six are the same distance just below the center line there so that will be then two three four five and six so if i have to draw this in i'm just going to draw the uh, construction This is what the top view will look like without a cutting plane. Now I've extended those lines because I'm also going to bring down four, from here, then I've also got three and five, so three is at the top, five here at the bottom. And then I also have over here two and six. There's two. There's the other six. And then I have one over here. Okay, so now that I've got my hexagon marked out, the whole prism, I'm going to start by adding in the cutting plane. So the cutting plane cuts through that top surface so I can bring that top surface that's between three and five and I can actually draw in a solid line so that's the line I will see the next point is that two and six over here that will fall away but it will section it on the lines from six towards six and from two towards two over there so i'm going to bring it down and i'm going to mark it there and there and then also one corner one will fall away but it will intersect at corner one over there and that will be the new one so my cutting plane will be this area over here this is only for the prism and then what will be left over is we will see the rest of our hexagon so i'm going to draw it in because the cutting plane hasn't touched the bottom surface 
In other words, we have to show that this corner underneath the cutting surface will still exist and therefore we will add hidden detail. Now you need to remember to add your hidden detail to this drawing even if it goes within the cutting surface. So I'm now also going to just add in here the 45 degree sectioning. And the reason why I'm doing this without thinking about the pyramid is because the hexagon prism is above the pyramid and I know that I will see this. Right, so now I do see my pyramid over here and I know that it also sections through that surface on the base over there. So I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to cut away the corner of the pyramid. The next point is this cutting surface over here. I need to find it on this line over here. So from this corner, from this point to the top point over there. I can't just bring it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this point across and I'm going to call this point point X. Then I'm going to bring point X, it now runs on this corner going to the top. So between this corner over here and the top point over there. I'm going to bring it down and mark point X is now marked over there. And now I need to bring it parallel to this surface um, of the um, base of the triangle. I need to bring it to that point over there. So my new point X will now lie there. And that means that the cutting surface will move up to that point there. And then the next point of the cutting surface falls on from that corner to the top. I will be able to see that, so I can also draw it in there and that will go back down to the base of the triangle. So what will be left over is I'll definitely be able to see that base corner there and then the hidden detail going towards the original point of the triangle. I will be able to see that corner by showing hidden detail and then the rest that comes out. And then I will also be able to see the surface that's flat on the ground to where it gets sectioned off there. And then the corner that goes to the top as well as that corner and then the hidden detail that goes there. So now when it comes to the sectioning, because I sectioned this 45 degrees this direction, I'm going to section this in a different direction because they are two separate parts. And that there is then my um, top view for um, those two parts. Then I'm going to add in here a new XY line. I'm going to draw in a 45 degree angled construction. I'm now going to draw in the original parts of my um, two figures. So I'm going to first bring it across the triangle. So that there. And then the top point. 
Then I'm going to bring my triangle up. And the top point. And then another base point over here. So then the top. And it will look like something like this without being sectioned. Remember, we're drawing a sectioned left view. So now the next um, part over here is now to take across the points of the hexagon. So I've already got corner three and two. I also have over here five and six. And then I'm going to bring across one and four. So all the original points. So looking at it from the left, I'm going to mark corner four, which will be in the center. So it's four on four. The next two points will be five and three, which I'll bring across this side and this side. So three is on this side, five on the far side, and then two and six. So two again is on this side, six on the far side, and then I've got corner one in the center over here. So without the section, This is what I'll see. And then the bottom hexagon. So there's corner four in the center. Three and five. Three on this side, five on this side. Two and six. And then the last corner is in the middle, this corner one. Right, so I'm now going to focus on the point that actually gets um, sectioned. So if I take this corner down, I know it's that corner over there. And that corner actually runs from this corner over here. So if I bring this across, that section point should be on that line. The next one is on this point, and if I bring it across, it's the point on the far side. So the section will hit the pyramid over there. In other words, we'll have that there. Now the next two points are the two points I actually cut away and a corner over here. So now we have to bring this point down. It actually, actually is exactly on that point there. And then the next one I don't have. So this one, which is on the ground surface, I'll bring to the 45 degree line, then straight up, and then I can join them like that. And there we go, I've got my section part, top part has been taken off, so this corner over here will be left over, and I'll see that there as well. Right, so the next point over here is now to section our um, prism. So sections three and five, it take it, four will still be there if we look at it from the left hand side. So I've now taken the top away from the triangle. The bottom part will still be there. And over here, I'm now going to take away this left corner of the um, 
prism. So I'm going to draw in over here a solid line to, sh to start our section. The next point of the section will also cut on the sides over here. So this will come straight down and that will come straight down there. Then it will section on line one to one. So there. And I will be able to see the whole section there. So that's my section. I will be able to see this top corner four from the left. So I'm going to have to draw it in. Like that. And then the rest of the hexagon I'll also be able to see. So I'll be able to see that corner there and that corner there. I will be able to see it join up with corner one and therefore I'm going to put in hidden details over here. And solid line with hidden details over here. So the front over here will be a solid line and then hidden details running to the bottom over there. The back over there will be between four and four is this point over here. So I'll also put hidden details over there. I won't be able to see that construction lines over there. So now it's time to add in my sectioning. So I'm going to section this in the one direction. And then I'll section the prism in another direction. Okay, so I also have, just saw now, that I've got, actually missed two corners over here. So, it's a good thing I looked at it. So this angle over here, I've made a mistake. Just going to take it out. I'll redraw that. As I missed two corners. And then the corners that I've missed was actually these bottom two, two and six. Um, this will be it in detail. Solid line there. And this will be a solid line. And then hidden detail to there. That will be a solid line. That will be a solid line. And then corner four which is at the back here, will be hidden detail line towards this point here. There. And then hidden detail line over there. And then just need to redo that sectioning over there. And that over there should be my completed left view. So that is my sectional left view then for this drawing. Right, so the last part of the drawing is now to look at the true shape. So the true shape of the cutting surfaces. So there's different ways of doing this. I like to do mine on this horizontal plane in line with the top view which means that 
if I use this space over here, let me just create a good space over here. And I'm going to start here with our pyramid over here. And if I draw a line like this, and I bring that corner of the pyramid across, and that point over there across, then I can say, right, that will be my starting point for this um, cutting plane. So if this is the starting point, that's point A, it cuts through that point there and that point there. So that will be the distance that I need to mark out from over here. So I'm going to use this line over here as my line to mark out all distances. So the first point is then from point A to that middle point of this triangle and I'm going to just mark it off there and then I'm also going to mark off the second point on that same line just mark it off there by doing that I can now draw in two construction lines because this is the true length of the cutting plane so if I look at the center one it's this point over here if I bring it down it's that point over there so that will be the point on the second line that I'm going to mark off. The next one is obviously the one that I haven't marked off yet. And I'll bring that across and I'll mark it off. And that gives me my true length or true shape of the cutting surface for the pyramid. So the next one is going to start on that center corner over there so the center point i'm going to bring it across now just mark it there and i'm going to use our cutting plane line so from the same distance here that i've marked i'm now taking the first point of the cutting plane of our prism and i'm going to mark it on that point over there so that's where it will start So the next point, starting from this corner, point A, I'm going to bring in this two corners. So if I bring it down, it's the two on the far side. Still measuring from our starting point over there, just going to make a little mark there. And then I'm going to bring that cutting point and that cutting point across. I can actually extend it. So by doing that, I now have, oh man, I now have the first two. points and then I need to get the last two. So this is the whole cutting point line. So there, on three and five, again, I'm going to mark it off there. I can actually draw the vertical line there. And then I can connect those two points. So this is my true shape. The last thing to do is just to section it. So at an angle of 45 degrees, I'm just going to section the two surfaces. One to the one direction and then the other one to the other direction. So this has to go the other direction. There we go. That's my true shape. And this is then the answer for November 2018. Um, question paper one, question two. And this will be one of the options. It's called solids. Uh, you might also get interpenetration. And then the other option might be development. And we will be looking 
at the other two at a later stage as well. I hope this helps and uh, very important over here is that you add hidden detail lines to your drawings.